Hey everyone, it's Chris with HotShotsCatering.com and I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me today for another great episode of Hot Shots TV. Uh, if you don't know who I am and why I'm dressed this way, then you're gonna to wanna to like, share, and subscribe to this channel so you get all the awesome content because we are all about coffee here at Hot Shots. So today's episode is all about the freedom roast, right? We love our freedoms. And how much better could it be than Freedom Roast Coffee from Black Rifle Coffee Company? Um, so we're gonna review this coffee today. Stay there, don't go anywhere. Come right back and watch me and we are gonna talk about the freedom that is in this Freedom Roast Coffee. Let's go. And welcome back. So if you guys don't know, I've actually been in, not the military, but I went to a military school for about four years. Uh, and I brought some of my stuff here, my, my cap, and then I also have this really cool Marine Corps uh, officer sword that uh, I was really honored to be able to wear when I was an officer in J. Um, I know that doesn't mean a lot, but what it does mean is that I have a lot of sympathy, respect for everyone who's been in the military. And I think you should too, especially if you're living in our country, uh, the United States, you should definitely, definitely, if you wanna support our troops and you wanna uh, give back to those who have given everything for us, uh, Black Rifle Coffee Company, that's one of the things, the main things is that they're veteran owned uh, and they support the veterans. So that's one of the great things I, I love that they're doing. Um, and even in this video, I wanna thank you guys if you're out there um, and keeping us safe as Americans, uh, as United States citizens, this great country, US of A, uh, I wanna thank you guys from everyone here at Hot Shots. Thank you so much for, for being out there. And um, you know, when I went to military school, a lot of the people and a lot of the stuff that I learned in me becoming a business owner uh, had a lot to do with my experiences at that school. And most of that experience came from people who were veterans. Everyone there was some kind of veteran or a lot of them were still active in the military reserves and even in the military and going out during Iraqi freedom and supporting and, and actually fighting in that conflict. Um, so that's a great honor. Uh, and I wanna thank you guys who are out there uh, fighting for us. So let's get into the to the review of this thing. Now I picked this up at Bass Pro um, and uh, I think it's something new that they've done. Uh, I haven't seen it anywhere else, which is why I'm telling you that. I always like to give you guys a little bit of insight of where I get the coffee when I get it and I do a review. Black Rifle Coffee Company did not reach out to me to do this review, I'm not being paid or supported by them. As usual, you should know that. Um, and if I ever am supported by any of these companies, I will let you know, especially if it's something that we sell on our website at shophotshots.com, I will let you know that as well. Um, the Freedom Roast Coffee though, this to me, from what I understand, is their medium uh, roasted coffee, their medium blend. And, um, you know, we did a review in the 2019 coffee lineup um, about their Black Rifle um, Just Black Coffee. Uh, and if you saw that review, you know I'm a, definitely a big fan of that coffee. I think it was number two, came in number two uh, for the coffees of 2019. Uh, but it was, it was fantastic. Um, and so I'm hoping we get the same experience from the Freedom Roast Coffee today when we brew it. But basically, let's just read a little bit here. America's Coffee, a uh, portion of our profits go to veterans, law enforcement, and first responder causes. So that's really cool, supporting all of those people, which we support here at Hot Shots. 100% Arabica Coffee, medium roast, roasted in the U.S. of A., uh, and this is actually their K-Cups, just so you know, it's not a bag, but they do also have a bag. I believe it comes pre-ground. It might even have the option. You know, a lot of these roasters now, they give you that full kind of um, offering on their website that you can do ground, you can do whole bean. Uh, like I said, like I always say actually, is try to always get whole bean. You're gonna have the freshest uh, roasted coffee with that and uh, it's not gonna lose anything. Um, you know, too much of flavorings or anything like that. You're gonna have the freshest kind of coffee that you can start with. And then get a good grinder uh, and grind your own beans 
And that way you can also play with the grinding, see what kind of flavor profiles you like best, uh, and then kind of put it all together. Um, but this is their K-Cups. That's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna try, I'm gonna give you an honest review. And uh, other than that, let's get into it. And uh, lastly, coffee profile will be up here as usual. We'll go through the coffee profile. If you wanna follow along with me with the coffee profile, look in the description box of this video and you will find the coffee profile below. Uh, you can download it, print it out, get this coffee and then follow along with me if you're into that. And uh, let's taste it together. Thank you guys so much and we'll be right back. All right, so let's get in on this tasting. So we have our fresh brewed cup of coffee here of our Freedom Roast. Now, before I get into that, I cut open the top of one of these K-Cups. I just wanted to tell you, this is definitely kind of a darker, darker medium uh, roasted coffee. Uh, it smells really good. It's, it has a, uh, I don't know what exactly to call it, but definitely when you, when you smell some of these coffees, they have kind of a, um, a really rich and bold, I guess, uh, note to it that kind of just hits you. Uh, and this coffee, coffee definitely has that. So I'm very curious to see what it actually tastes like and how it tastes uh, in this review process. So let's start as usual with just the standard black cup of coffee. This is the Freedom Roast from Black Rifle Coffee Company. Oh, and like I said, follow along up here uh, with our coffee profile, and I'm gonna tell you starting how we, how we do all this. So let's start with aroma. If you're following along with the coffee profile, that's what we do first, so. The smell of the coffee is good. Um, I wouldn't say it's bad, and it's definitely not weak. Um, remember, it's a K-cup, um, so when I brew things in the K-cup, it doesn't always, to me, come out as strong as I like my coffee, but you guys are probably the same way. Either you like it strong or you like it weaker, a K-cup somewhere in between. But it smells good, smells like a bold cup of coffee. Like I said, very similar to this, it's a very rich smell to it. It's almost, I guess the best way to describe it is like a smoky, leathery, but it's not like those uh, extremely caffeinated coffees that I've tried before that are really dark and oily. This is more on kind of a standard cup of coffee side, but you just have that really uh, kind of rich leathery uh, smell to it. Um, but it doesn't smell bad, it does smell good. Uh, as far as color, it's definitely a dark coffee, uh, even as a medium roast and even through the K-cup, it, it looks dark. Um, it doesn't look just like your standard uh, medium roast cup of, cup of coffee. So let's give it a try. Pretty good. Uh, actually very good for a medium roast. I can taste all the, all the notes kind of at once, which is good. Uh, I can definitely taste the boldness and richness of the coffee. Uh, going by taste, I would say definitely rich and bold. It's a little acidic. I will say that uh, when you try it, the acidity comes through. Uh, it's definitely there. It's a little acidic for my taste. You know, I'm not a big fan of acidic coffees. Um, some people like that. They think that's what a normal cup of coffee should taste like and power to you if that's what you think. I personally am not a fan of acidic coffees uh, and it's probably because I just drink so much Italian coffee, uh, but uh, it's, it's, it is a little bit acidic. It's definitely rich and bold. Um, it's not sweet. Uh, and it doesn't taste old and stale to me. Might have a little bit of a sourness to it, but overall it's a good medium coffee. Uh, I will say I do like this as a medium coffee. If someone was gonna give this to me uh, and say, hey, this is our medium blended coffee or medium roast coffee, I would say, hey, that's great. I like it, um, but you know, it, it, it might be, it's not the perfect medium roast. Let's, let's just start there. Uh, and it, to me, to be honest with you, uh, the Just Black, I like a lot better than this, um, even though I think it's more their darker roast. Actually, I think their Just Black is a medium roast coffee, um, but it, it's one that is just 
black. It's good as a black cup of coffee. And that's my favorite that I've tried from them so far. This I would say is a little subpar from that in my personal opinion, but it is good. Um, let's get into the notes. What am I tasting here? Very, I'm getting that very leathery, <laughs> smoky taste to it. It's, it's very leather and smoky. Um, maybe a little nutty. Um, definitely not herbal, definitely not citrus or fruity, uh, and definitely not artific artificial. Um, but I am getting that really kind of bold, bold taste, you know. And to me, it's kind of funny because Black Rifle Coffee Company, I feel like it's almost like maybe they're putting gunpowder or something in this. And it's just like, yeah, you know, just getting you this bold substance, which I like. Like I said, their black, their bl just black coffee was delicious. And I think that's where they stand out. Uh, I'm starting to see a theme here is that they got this kind of just like bold in your face cups of coffee that they make these these types of coffee that they make is really that way. You know, it's part of the whole personality of being a military, being a grunt, and here's your coffee, you know what I mean? That's what this coffee says to me. I know it sounds crazy, but that's what it does to me. So this is a coffee, if I was in the military, I'd be more than happy to have this every day. Uh, it is very good, um, but my honest opinion for a medium roast coffee, um, I've had better. I mean, let's just be, let's just be honest about it. I've had better, but, um, you know, some people I feel like if they tasted this, they're probably going to say it tastes old and stale, but I think it's just that smoky leathery kind of flavors that are coming out that, that kind of bold roast, uh, that's coming out and, uh, it might be too much for some people. Uh, but I think they kind of make this uniqueness with this medium roast, uh, and especially for this freedom roast. Um, yeah, I, th I think it's, it's pretty good. Um, that's pretty much it for the coffee profile. Uh, my personal opinion, would I go out and buy this coffee for a medium roast coffee, uh, that I would want to drink every day? Um, uh, I would say yes. Uh, but at the same time, it's probably not the high end on my scale of coffees I would first buy. Uh, they're just black on the other hand. I am a big fan of that. I will definitely recommend that for you guys out there that want just a really good bold coffee, but I just feel like this Freedom Roast is missing the mark. The other thing is I have a little bit of cream here. You know what we always do? We just try to, try to lighten up the coffee a little bit, see if there's any other flavors there. So let me do that as well. Yeah, to be honest with you, even with the cream, it kind of loses the whole coffee in the cream, to be honest with you. I like it bold, I like it black, but with the cream, it kind of starts trailing away. The flavors start going away really quickly to me. Um, it's still good, but I think a lot of that, that impact that I had that I liked with the black coffee kind of withers away when you add a little bit of cream to it. So uh, as far as my favorite coffee, no. As far as a good medium roast coffee, I would say yes. Um, probably competitive to a lot of those ones that you're gonna see off the shelf. Um, and uh, you know, if you wanna, at the very least, support our troops, support uh, our first responders that are out there working so hard, I think, I love everything that they're doing. I think that's worth its weight in gold just from, from that standpoint alone. Um, but their coffee is good. Um, I'm just not a big fan of this Freedom Roast, to be honest with you, uh, starting off for what we do here and doing all these tastings. So other than that, that's it for me today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I hope this helps you picking out these coffees when you see our review and you go through the coffee profile with us. Hopefully you're at home doing some of this and you're really being able to understand and taste coffee and create a palette for it. Uh, and quite honestly, it's not just about my palate, it's about your palate. And hopefully we're able to do that when we do these together. So thank you guys so much for joining me today and I will see you guys next time here at Hot Shots TV.